you so much for joining me today for another video. I'm going to do a ring pour on this 18 by 24 inch canvas. So I did a ring pour, um, it's been a little while back, and it was beautiful, I loved it, and it didn't record. So I'm going to try and do one that's very similar to it. It turned out beautiful, I love it. So I'm using pretty much the same colors, a little different, but pretty much the same. I'm going to be using white. This is Payne's Gray. This is actually, this is bronze. Now, let me show you something. I'm using Creative Inspiration Bronze, which I love their paint uh, for certain things. But their bronze looks really copper to me. So, what I did was I took it and I added some raw umber to it to make it a deeper bronze color instead of a copper color. Let's see. This is... They, I mean, turquoise, they love by Golden. And this is 24 karat gold with some iridescent gold by Pebea. So those are my colors. I'm gonna layer them in my cup, starting with the white. Payne's gray. I'm gonna go in the same order that I showed you my colors. Bronze. Turquoise. Just want it to be darker and a little bit more masculine. So that's why I've got these colors because Payne's Gray is gonna dry, dry dark and so is the um, turquoise. And I made more of the Payne's Gray so that I need, I need some on the outside after I do my ring pour, then I will have some. So that's why that cup is so large. And a beautiful, beautiful turquoise color. A lot of times I mix my own paints, just put colors together and see what I can come up with. This one is pretty much straight colors except for the, the bronze. Like I said, I love Creative Inspirations. They have really good paint. Um, I like it. I don't use it for everything. I am gonna use it for this one, obviously. Um, but their bronze looks very copper to me, so I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, last round here. A little bit more. And the gold. Might as well use the rest of that. There's not very much. Okay. Look how pretty. Look at that stripes. Gorgeous cut. All right, we'll start in the center. It's almost the center, about right there. Okay, we'll go around just a little. We'll start doing the rings right here in the middle. Now this cup is not the best cup to do a ring pour with because it doesn't bend at all. There we go. Almost there. I love the white in the center. Okay, never good at the centers. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna fix this a little bit because it didn't quite spiral. There we go, that looks cool. All right, now I'm gonna pop my air bubbles. Lots of air bubbles. Okay, go around just a little bit. I love white and Payne's gray. It looks really pretty. There we go. And I needed some of the brightness, which is why I added the white, because the other colors are dark, like I said. Payne's gray is going to dry dark. The turquoise dries darker. But that's what I was wanting. A little bit darker piece. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this Payne's Gray on the side. As you can see, my paints are thicker. I used Floetrol Gloss Medium Varnish, Squirt of GAC 800, and some water. 
And I'll put all that in the description as well as my paints. Let's see, where's the way to my paint? All right, the way to my paint is right here. I'm gonna come back this way. And I don't wanna go over just yet. Well, I said that, and then this side went over. That's all right. We'll just go ahead and do it. Bring it back. Bring my paint back to the center. see which way do I want to go that's really pretty way my paints here so I'm gonna come back to the side over here get this corner here I'll turn it so you can see it there we go just go off and I'm gonna come back Ooh, that teal is really pretty. Turn it around again. Go down this side. Okay. And over. And come back a little bit. And I'm going to come back over this way. Bring my paint back. And now I'm gonna go to this side. There it goes. Hope you can see that. Slowly pushing it off. Could have left some negative space, but I chose not to. And I'm gonna bring it back. It's really pretty. I'll bring it back. <laughs> Love these stripes right here. Love them. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back towards me a little bit. I'll turn it again. Ah, my favorite part. Lost a lot of the blue over here. I say blue, paint's gray. Bring it down. Pretty. I'm trying to think if I want to add some blue here. Paint's gray. Keep calling it blue. Do I do I do I? I love it here and I love it here. Hmm. Yeah. I think I do. It needs the dark darkness over here. A little bit of it. So I'm going to make this corner panes gray. We're gonna oops push that off. Go that way with it. Just think it needs it a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna come back. I like this. Sorry, I know you probably can't see what I'm doing. Okay. I like that. I think that's pretty. Need to get that little piece off. Cover that with some paints gray here. I like it. Love this over here. Let me think here. All right. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here's the overall piece. It wasn't exactly what I was going for, but I think it really turned out pretty. It's going to dry darker. As you can see all the different cells and colors. Here's the center. It's really pretty. 
See all that bronze in there? Definitely see the rings. Over here is where I added the Payne's Gray. I just thought that it needed it because I've got Payne's Gray here and then I've got Payne's Gray in this corner. I love right here. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. Dark stripes. And then down here, that turquoise is really, really showing up. You can see all the colors right here. There's turquoise, the white. There's Payne's gray, bronze, gold. I love that corner. Yeah, I'm happy with the overall piece. It is definitely going to dry darker, but I was going for something a little bit more masculine, so that's perfect. Giant gold cells over here. I don't even think I need to turn my lights out so you can see all the shimmer. But you can definitely see it's going to shimmer. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And as always, you have a great day. Until next time, bye.